Explosion at McGregor. Unexpected incident SpaceX Raptor. NASA's expectations about launching Starship 4. Welcome everyone to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. Just recently, as the Starship program was making significant strides, a sudden incident occurred. One of the key components, the Raptor engine, encountered a serious technical issue, posing a significant challenge for SpaceX in the near future. Will upcoming flights and plans be affected? Additionally, the video also touches on other hot topics such as Bill Nelson's statement on Starship and Artemis, or Arian's maiden mission. Let's explore further in this broadcast, in recent days, preparations for Starship Flight 4 at Starbase have been bustling. Elon Musk even tweeted plans to conduct the fourth flight within the next 10 days. However, news of the Raptor engine incident on May 23 at SpaceX's McGregor Engine Test Center in Texas has left us somewhat disappointed. A loud explosion occurred at the test stand during Raptor engine testing, which may have resulted in the complete destruction of the engine. Currently, SpaceX has not issued an official statement regarding the cause and extent of the damage from this incident, typically, after production at the factory, Raptor engines undergo rigorous quality testing at SpaceX's McGregor facility in Texas. If they pass the tests, they are transported to Starbase for installation on Starship or booster rockets. In case of failure to meet requirements, the engines are sent back to the factory for troubleshooting. Many speculate that the engine involved in the incident is Raptor 3 because SpaceX is pushing for accelerated production and testing to meet the demand for Starship version 2. Raptor 3 underwent its first test last year and achieved impressive performance. However, the recent explosion indicates that there are still many challenges to overcome before Raptor 3 can be officially deployed. Developing rocket engines has always been a challenging task, especially with new iterations like Raptor 3. They require additional refinement time before being put into official operation. The recent explosion underscores the necessity for SpaceX to conduct a comprehensive review of its operational procedures. Prior to this incident, the S-31 engine also encountered electrical issues during testing at the Massey test site. Currently, this engine is undergoing repairs and cannot resume testing. While everyone is eager for Starship to enter service on schedule, the most crucial aspect at present is for SpaceX engineers to take the time to thoroughly evaluate the system, ensuring stability and reliability. This forms the solid foundation for Starship's remarkable advancements in the future. Will Starship overcome these challenges and fulfill this crucial mission? Despite the setback of the Raptor engine explosion, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson's statement brings a glimmer of optimism. He believes that the incident may not significantly affect upcoming Starship flights and its role in the Artemis program. According to Nelson, SpaceX has achieved all major milestones and is on the verge of launching the giant rocket with 33 Raptor engines. This test flight aims to demonstrate the rocket's operational capabilities in space, however, the capability, schedule, and suitability of Starship and SpaceX for the Artemis 3 mission are still under close scrutiny. In fact, some sources suggest that NASA is considering contingency plans or alternative missions in case Starship fails to meet mission requirements. NASA will closely monitor Starship's landing efforts and key tests next year, such as fuel transfer between two spacecraft. These efforts are aimed at ensuring that the United States maintains its leadership position in lunar exploration, despite fierce competition from other nations, especially China. In addition, Senator Jean Shaheen expressed concerns about the cost of the Artemis program, based on previous studies regarding the total program cost. The NASA Inspector General's office estimated that each launch of the Space Launch System SLS, rocket and the Orion spacecraft for the first four times could cost up to $4.2 billion. Due to the high cost, Senator Shaheen questioned NASA Administrator Bill Nelson about whether an independent review board should be established for the Artemis Moon Exploration Program. Nelson opposed this proposal, stating that contractors had already been penalized by reducing bonuses if operational performance did not meet requirements. Nelson also emphasized NASA's utilization of commercial partners in the Artemis program, such as the Human Landing System program using fixed-price contracts. 
However, NASA officials expressed some discomfort regarding the level of external oversight for the Artemis program. They argued that the most recent audit by the NASA Inspector General's office regarding NASA's readiness for the Artemis II mission did not identify any issues, will concerns about cost and oversight affect the schedule of the Artemis program? NASA Administrator Bill Nelson confirmed that the launch date for the Artemis II spacecraft is still scheduled for September 2025, although work to address the Orion spacecraft's heat shield and other technical issues is ongoing. He emphasized that the spacecraft will only launch when fully ready. Alongside updates on Artemis II, attention shifts to the European Space Agency, or ESA as they prefer to be addressed. ESA is actively preparing for the maiden mission of the Ariane 6 rocket, their latest source of pride. The first flight of the Ariane 6 is scheduled for the first two weeks of July, with the official launch date to be announced at the ILA Berlin Airshow from June 5th to 9th. Currently, the preparation process for the Ariane 6 is progressing smoothly. Technical evaluations of the rocket were completed on April 29th. Engineers have also begun assembling the rocket, including attaching the two solid fuel boosters to the main body. The upper stage and payload are slated for installation in June, followed by fuel tests and a wet dress rehearsal on June 18. Although there is no official launch date yet, all parties involved in the project are optimistic that everything is proceeding according to schedule, the first flight of the Ariane 6 carries many expectations. The success of the rocket will help ESA alleviate difficulties in satellite launches, which have led them to contract SpaceX for some Falcon 9 rocket launches recently. However, ESA Director General Joseph Ashbacher also acknowledges the potential risks. There is a 47% chance that the first flight may not succeed or may not go exactly as planned, and ESA will strive to minimize these risks. Can the Ariane 6 overcome the challenges and mark a new milestone in ESA's space exploration journey? Stay tuned for future episodes, as we will update you with the latest developments, although setbacks are always possible, both SpaceX and NASA are actively addressing challenges to ensure that Starship can fulfill its crucial mission in Artemis 3. And ESA, they are also diligently preparing for the first flight of the Ariane 6, scheduled for July. Do you believe in the success of their upcoming plans? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for continuous updates on interesting information. Goodbye for now and see you in the next video.